Because if you look at, uh, again, the report, there is highlighting some aspects of uh, problems here. They always say M23, M23. M23 is everybody's problem. It has become an international issue, problem. I think M23 affects Europe, affects America, affects Africa, affects... And they are uh, quiet. They speak in whispers when it talks about FDRR, when they are talking about one, over 120 armed groups in Eastern Congo. They only highlight M23 and ADF, yes, ADF, they talk about ADF. Sometimes even trying to create an equivalence that M23 and ADF are equivalent. But FDRA, these genociders, who have now become uh, part of uh, really the National Army of, of DRC, they have been armed, they, have been, they are known, we have names, uh, names, ranks, we, they have, we, we know, but they assume these people don't even exist, that it is not even a problem that we should be talking about. And when you ask, you say, okay, but uh, are you saying these, these people have never existed? They say, yeah, yes, they have, but so where are they? Where did they go to? Just disappeared? You say, uh, you, know, but, uh, you know, most of them, these people went back home, they, you know, they are no longer there. But on one hand, they say they went back home, um, on the other hand, they are not uh, talking about those who uh, have stayed and are actually causing problems. They've been causing problems to Rwanda. Like, you know, the case from 2019. Uh, and uh, other cases that followed later on. And then these names we talk about that we know exist uh, in that part. Then you have other cases in, uh, that is North Kivu, then you have other cases in South Kivu involving, uh, again, not only people from Rwanda, the, the cases where Burundi is affected in the same way, they have people uh, they have to confront that uh, they live in that part, and then there is a mix of uh, uh, the Congolese groups and uh, national forces. Then you have the UN that is always uh, crisscrossing from North Kivu to South Kivu, and uh, so sometimes you cannot even understand what is going on. So I would have expected that a report like that really clarifies. Uh, who is who, and uh, what they are doing, and where they came from, or what their intentions are. Uh, without exception. Uh, and then guide us to the possible actions that should be taken in order to uh, pacify, because pacifying Eastern Congo is not just pacifying Congo, it's also pacifying uh, the neighboring countries, whether it is Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi, and maybe others uh, beyond uh, in, in, in other geographical parts.